morning, everyone. This is Anka Metcalf with TradeOutloud.com. Welcome to the pre-market game plan for the major futures indices. Golden oil for today, Friday, last trading day of the week. It is November 17th, 9 a.m., 9.07 actually a.m. Eastern time and option expiration today. So today expect a very choppy, turbulent market, especially that we uh, have to see how the market is tolerating the tax reform news. And also the market had an extensive rally and, and it actually had a very dynamic climactic move in yesterday's trading session, starting with 7 a.m. Eastern time. So that was the start of that literally blasted higher to um, um, in the Imini Dow at least, 23.464 for a high. So it had a fantastic rally to the upside. Uh, very hard to trade uh, without chasing this trade. Uh, but however, we did have a trade in the morning and then we had another trade late afternoon into the close for a fade. So let's begin by looking at this technical chart and see what our game plan is for today's trading session. Well, we have established a high in yesterday's trading session at 464, and we have established lower highs into the overnight trading session at 441, and another high at 428, and another high at 4. Uh, 17. So we do have a little downtrend going on here on the one hour chart within this overnight trading session. Now, when we look at the overall pattern, we see that the price is pretty much uh, bottoming out, trying to pivot at the 377 area right here that is coming from this prior high. And then a reversal may occur here back into the 23400. I think that today we will approach a different strategy and we will look for particularly scalp trades. So we won't necessarily look for a potential trend. Uh, keep in mind that yesterday this trend was fueled by the economic releases that were uh, that were before the market opened, that were at 8.30 a.m. that blasted the market higher, and then at 9.15 that continued the rally. So it had multiple catalysts that moved the market higher and nonetheless the tax reform news as well that fueled this rally. All right, so moving forward for today, we will be looking at a possible uh, long around this area into the 23400 for a scalp. And again, we will look for 15 to 20 points max targets for today on a weak consolidation. At this point, we will look for a further descent back into the 350 zone and back into the 334 zone. These are going to be the areas. Uh, on a further advance to the downside, we may look for follow through all the way to 23,300. Keep in mind that today there are, there are some specifics that um, every trader needs to know trading option expiration. So uh, there are some scenarios where you can trade the morning, but if the morning is sideways, then particularly you're going to expect a rally for lunch or late afternoon or continuation in the afternoon and vice versa. So we're going to be looking for that aspect. Aspect as well for today uh, I will be only looking to trade the morning session I will not stay around for the afternoon trading session I will wrap it up at 11 a.m. Um, 1130 at the latest and uh, keep in mind that next week we will have uh, a very short trading week so basically it will be uh, it will be Monday Tuesday Wednesday and that's it it was it is going to be a three-day uh, trading week. All right. So um, this is the game plan for the m and &E Dow. We're going to look at the m and &E S&P 500. The m and &E S&P 500 was extremely dynamic uh, in the overnight trading session. And uh, I'm sorry, in yesterday's trading session, establishing a high at uh, 2589 uh, the old time high is still 2594 it has a solid support area at 2580 I did mention this yesterday in our program and for those of you that are overnight traders you probably took advantage of this bounce that came in at 4 a.m. Eastern that pushed the price higher into 85 so this is going to be pretty much the range uh, that we will be looking at today 80 to 85 so uh, if we break below this 80 level we may have room to continue into the 75 level and actually into the 
the 71 and 70. So look for a continuation more to the downside, but only if after, uh, only if 2578 is going to be breached. Let's take a look at NASDAQ and NASDAQ today looking firm and it's not pulling back much. It was the, the most accelerated run that uh, that uh, we have witnessed in yesterday's trading session. It was a phenomenal run, climactic to the upside, setting a new high, a new all-time high uh, at 63.58. Shallow pullback, setting support at 30, uh, 35, uh, 35, um, uh, 75 area. And it's moving once again. So this is the key level here, the 35 area. We did have a fade into the close. We did have a, a short at 53. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna show you what we have traded yesterday. Um, and it was in the end of the trading session. So we had to wait very patiently yesterday. And again, the patience is always getting rewarded, especially when trading futures. So keep in mind, never chase a trade. This is the most dangerous thing that you could do. If I don't see uh, an entry with a possible, with, with a tight risk and a possible good reward, then I'm not taking the trade. So why would you risk anything when you don't see uh, the risk? clearly and you don't see the reward clearly so uh right here we were setting up into these highs um, uh, we were we shorted this rally uh um, and uh we actually had a target one and in the overnight session we did have target two i took a snapshot for the program yesterday so keep in mind this is this uh, this is the strong support level here at 63.35 and if we break this area, then we will test the 63.20 area. 63.20 area may be seen as, again, scalp area to the upside, back into the 4.0. So back into the 3.5 and 4.0 area. And a strong consolidation breakout over the 58 area may be possible with continuation into the 63.80 and 6,400. So these are the new extensions that we have for this um, uh, for this index. All right, so let's take a look at Russell here and see how Russell is shaping up today. It was extreme move to the upside. It was an incredible move. Uh, I And the breakout came in at before nine o'clock. So this is when it happened, 1470. Uh, this was the risk. However, the target was extremely choppy. Now, this location is a little bit difficult. We did have the most, uh, we, we did have a really nice pullback right here, a fade into uh, the overnight trading session, setting support at 81. I would have liked to see more into the 1480. This would be more encouraging for a turnaround back to 85, back to 90, back to 95. Uh, if the 80 level is going to be breached, then look for further continuation to the downside right into the 1476 level. All right, and let's continue with CL. This is oil for today. Oil had a bounce. Finally, we're trading a new contract uh, after a very strong consolidation at 55.48. In fact, there was a really nice um, a possibility for a break at 55.50 area in the overnight trading session. For those of you that are trading the overnight trading session, uh, 2 a.m. actually 2 a.m. into 2 a.m. Uh, 2 a.m. Eastern. Uh, you had the breakout at $50. You had a very nice risk. And uh, this is actually the target area. The 56.50 area was the target area. Now, pullbacks into the 55.75. I will be looking for pullbacks into the 55.75 for a possibility to continue higher back into the 56.50 area. The fact that we had this breakout in the overnight trading session kind of sets the mood for uh, another uh, for other trading opportunities. So we will look, look to clear the 56.50 resistance area for another leg up, possibly into the 57 number. All right, let's take a look at gold right now. And gold is up for the day. Beautiful gold to the upside. <clears throat> and especially our swing is doing really well. Uh, 1290 for a first target. We will be looking for a target uh, right there. Uh, we had a sort of Christmas light effect going on in the overnight trading session and following this rocket bar right here, uh, pullbacks into this levels right here would have been buyable. The risk 
uh, the risk, however, uh, the risk would have been great. And this would have been really nice scalp opportunities as well to move for the upside. So uh, gold moving higher, we will look at it from a daily perspective. We could also put it on the map for possible day trades into the trading day today. Keep in mind, it needs to get over 1290 in order to continue its ascent higher into the 1295, 1313.07 for our target areas. All right, this is all for now. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you all have a very profitable trading day. Be patient on trades today. Uh, keep in mind, we do have an option expiration. So unless we see something that is extreme quality for the trade, um, we will not take the trade. So option expiration today, next week, we have a short trading week, Monday through Wednesday. Enjoy your weekend. Well deserved. We had a really great week uh, um, um, so far. And uh, I hope to see you next week with more trading ideas from Trade Out Loud.